You know, walking away can be the hardest thing you ever do. Maybe it's a relationship or a situation that doesn't feel right. It's been wearing you down. You're unsure where to go from here. Walking away can feel like you failed. You've been defeated. You're weak. However, it isn't a sign of weakness at all. Instead, it's a display of strength. We don't walk away to make others recognize our worth and value. We walk away because we finally recognize it in ourselves. There comes a point in these relationships and situations when they become a source of misery to us. The ongoing difficulty of staying no longer outweighs the benefits of leaving. The more you stay and interact with the wrong people, the more you find out these people to be the sources of pain or hurt. In this video, we'll be delving into knowing the right time to walk away, weighing the costs and benefits of leaving, knowing what to expect, and ultimately how to walk away, and choosing a happier, more peaceful life. When you walk away, you choose yourself. It's a liberating decision, and you can apply the benefits of walking away in many ways, whether it's a relationship, friendship, family circumstance, or job. Using this video as a guide, you can identify situations that no longer make you happy and take steps in the right direction to a better place. Knowing when the time has come to leave. People often stay in bad situations or relationships for far longer than they want. This can be due to several reasons. You're in your comfort zone or a place that you feel is familiar. You believe that you don't deserve anything better. You feel you've invested too much time and effort to give up now. But how do you know when it's the right time to walk away? And how do you avoid falling into these traps? One of the most significant ways you can tell it's a good time to walk away is when there are frequent disagreements about things you believe or relate to your values. For example, your job might require you to work more overtime, making it difficult to balance your work and life. Or maybe you have a friend who continuously doesn't listen to you. Perhaps life doesn't look the way you thought it would. These scenarios can be tricky to navigate, and your first step should involve communication. Can you solve the problem by talking to someone? Do they take what you say on board? Are the changes happening? Or are you being ignored? If you've tried communicating and working through the problems and they still haven't been resolved, then it's time to make a decision. If the relationship or situation is anything but quality, it's time to start reducing it and in some cases, walk away altogether. It's often far more important to have a few close connections that feel authentic and valuable to you than to keep people around who don't leave you feeling good. So how do you determine when to walk away? The costs and benefits of staying versus leaving. In prehistoric times, leaving a group, relationship, or friendship could mean danger. We needed to be a part of the group to survive. We would have to remain part of a group as there were safety in numbers. This resulted in human beings having a fear of rejection, which can often be the reason why it's so hard to decide to walk away. Nowadays, we don't need to be liked by everyone. Trying to please everyone is unrealistic, especially when this ignores our wants and needs. This is why weighing up the costs of staying versus the benefits of leaving is helpful. So what are the costs of staying in a difficult situation or relationship? The first cost of staying is that the situation is stressful. You can feel like you're fighting against the current just to exist. Do this for weeks, months, or years, and it can start taking its toll on you, damaging your mental and physical health. The second cost is feeling trapped. The longer you stay in a situation that isn't for you, the further you stray away from who you are and what you want. You can't live a fulfilling life if you're trapped in circumstances that prevent you from truly being yourself. And the last cost is falling into the trap of a sunk cost fallacy. One reason people choose to stay is that they feel like walking away will cost them all that time and effort they've invested into the relationship or situation. This is known as sunk cost. However, this isn't true. Making decisions based on the past will only deter us from making the right decisions for the future. You do more damage in remaining in circumstances that don't suit you for longer. These are just a few of the ways that remaining in damaging situations can negatively affect us. Depending on your specific circumstance, there could be more costs that will contribute to your decision to walk away. Next, we weigh up the benefits of walking away. The first benefit is the massive feeling of relief from choosing yourself. The source of stress has been eliminated, and now you can feel at peace. Your life may be quieter, but you'll be more relaxed and content overall. The next benefit is that you will now have more time to yourself. This can be more time to spend on self-improvement, developing hobbies and interests, working on projects, or reading up on topics that interest you. All that time that this person or situation used to fill will now be yours, and you'll get that opportunity to reclaim it. The third and final benefit of walking away is that you will be walking to something else. We're never without direction, whether it feels like it or not. 
The next situation or person may be infinitely better than the last. You'd only know by taking that leap to walk away. If your relationship, friendship, job, family dynamic, or other situation sounds less valuable than the benefits we've just explored, it may be time to walk away. Okay, so you've decided to walk away, but how do you do it? It's always best to have a sincere conversation, expressing your feelings, plans to walk away, and reasons for going. However, this isn't always possible, and it's important to follow your gut instincts about what you believe is best for you. Walking away doesn't have to mean cutting all ties, although in some situations this is for the best. Walking away can mean placing less importance on that person or situation for your own benefit. There's a power in choosing to walk away, and the confidence in saying no comes with this. When you start respecting your time, energy, and boundaries, you find it easier to say no or remove yourself from situations you don't enjoy. You may start to feel FOMO, the fear of missing out, when you choose yourself. This is a very natural feeling, but the only person you have to prove yourself to is you. Value the time you spend with yourself above all else. That concludes our definitive guide to walking away from people or places that no longer feel right or suit you. Walking away can be one of the hardest decisions, but it can also be one of the most liberating and rewarding in the long run. By choosing yourself, you start respecting your time and energy more than ever. The things that don't matter to you disappear, and you start to live a more content life. And the results? More confidence, happiness, time, energy, the list goes on. Walking away can be the hardest thing you ever have to do, but it's also the most rewarding. Have you ever walked away? Share your story, challenges, or wisdom you learned about the process in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.